welcome back to my channel today we will start a new chapter which is chapter 5 work energy and power so for this chapter there are three subtopic which is 5.1 work 5.2 energy and conservation of energy 5.3 is power okay so let us start the first one 5.1 Okay, what is the meaning of work? Okay, work is defined as a scalar or a dot product between force and displacement of a body. So we can write the equation for work, W is equal to force dot x, huh? vector of force dot vector of x. Okay, so as we know, dot product, we also can write it as Fs cos theta. Okay, so force here, we are referring to is the five different types of frost okay which is we already learned during chapter 4 frosts okay so this force may include weight or mg due to the tension friction normal force or work done caused by external force okay and then s is the displacement Okay, the angle cos theta here, the angle here must be between the angle between the forces, okay, and also vector x displacement. Work is a scalar quantity, meaning that we only consider the magnitude. We don't need to consider the directions because it is a scalar quantity. And the unit we can use, either we write it as kg meter square per second square or we can write as joule or capital J okay D work done on the object is zero when F equals to zero or S equals to zero or theta equals to 90 degree okay because we know that work done equals to F S cos theta so if the theta equals to 90 degree we know that cos 90 is equal to 0 so therefore you will get 0 joule okay sign of the work done so an important consideration for a system approach to problems is that work is an energy transfer meaning that the work is one type of energy transferred from one type of energy to another type of energy Work done is positive. Okay, so when we say work done is positive, when the work is done on the system. Okay, if the work done is negative, meaning that work is done by the system. Okay, so meaning that the energy is transferred from the system. So this is the introduction for work. Okay, so next we go to graph of the frost against displacement. If the graph given force versus displacement meaning that aerial undergraph aerial undergraph actually is our work done okay so we say work done is the area under force displacement graph for example let's say the displacement is 5 meter and the force here is given is 10 newton okay so what is the work done for this graph Okay, we can use it, we can write it as half, the displacement is 5, and the force here is 10 newton. So therefore, we will get the work done is equal to 25 joule. Exercise 1. A. Here we have the force and also the displacement. So work done equals to F s cos theta so what we need to do is we just substitute all the value for the force here is given 5 newton s is 10 meter cos theta theta is the angle between the force and also the displacement so f to the right and the displacement also to the right both of them are parallel meaning that the theta or the angle between force and the displacement is 0 degree Therefore, 5 times 10 cos 0, we will get 50 joule. Okay, because cos 0 is actually equal to 1. 
questions B. Again, we want to find the work done. So Fs cos theta. F 5 newton. S is 10 meter cos. The angle between the force and the displacement. So this is force. And the, the angle between the force and displacement is actually 60 degrees. So we substitute into the equation. So finally, we will get the answer is equals to 25 Joule. Okay, so this is for questions B. Question C. Work done equals to Fs cos theta. Again, we substitute all the value 5 newton 10 meter cos. So now the angle between force and also displacement is actually 90 degree yeah, because they are perpendicular to each other. So cos 90 actually you will get 0. So therefore, the answer that we get for C is equal to 0 joule yeah, because cos 90 is equal to 0. Okay, next we continue with questions D. Okay, questions D, again we want to find the work done. So work done equals to Fs cos theta where your F just now is 5, 10 meter cos. So if you draw out the diagram, displacement is towards to the right and this is the force. The angle between them actually is equal to 120. So we substitute into the equation. So finally, you will get negative 25 joule. So some student may ask teacher, if let's say I don't want to take 120, I want to take the angle between F and S in the other way, meaning that the angle between them is 240, will we get the same answer? So we can try to calculate as well. Okay, so 5 times 10 cos 240. If we press calculator, actually we will get the same answer which is negative 25 joule as well. Okay, so next we go to E. Okay, E is work done. Again, we substitute Fs cos theta. So we substitute force here is 5 newton. Displacement is 10 meter cos. Okay, so for this case, the force is to the left and the displacement is to the right. So the angle between them is actually 180 degree. So we substitute into the equation cos 180 actually is equal to negative 1. So therefore, we will get negative 50 joule. This is the answer. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. So remember to subscribe or share with your friends. In the next video, we will discuss on the work done by the forces. Okay, so see you in next video. Bye.